next one is help. So um, the um, main uh, thing, if I just hit enter, it's just text processing. But if I hit F6, it evaluates it, expecting a cozy list, uh, which is all evolved from APL, but I'll get um, uh, to that. And actually, uh, this is all, how many of you know four? There are, are familiar with four. Oh, OK. <laughs> um, but uh, the other key, whoops, key that contends with this F12 inserts a date line. So let me come here and hit F12. I think that should be, oh, well, actually, the thing is, I've, <laughs> I've got my screen uh, adjusted for here. Um, and, but F11 puts down a timestamp. And actually, it saved the environment right before, uh, because this is my notebook. So, well, here's a, and I'm hitting F6 if I'm on the line. F6, yeah. So we're going to co cover yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And here is, um, I got to tell it that this is a floating point. But I got 20 minutes, and I want to cover the three parts in this. So um, yeah, that's a list of those three. Oh, wait, I didn't, I didn't click on this one. Um, yeah, so I got six and two-thirds minutes each. Uh, so first, uh, cover the first 50 years. Um, and um, one of the few keys that I have Oh, damn, I'm not uh, signed in to the, um, oh, whoops, actually I want this one, I guess, conf connect. One of the things you can see is that I'm actually executing in here and let me go and execute this again. Um, I'm on that line. F8. Okay, here are my slides. Here's his. Um, I learned APL in, in grad school, trying to understand psychophysics, sci how, how brains work. And um, APL came to the conference. And this is Ken Iverson. Um, and his Turing, 1978 Turing uh, Award was um, um, for notation as a tool of thought. And actually, I think he got it because Bacchus, as mentioned this morning, he actually mentioned Ken and Rays as, as being the escape from um, um, the von Neumann bottleneck. In any case, and then also, incidentally, cozy is a structure of lists of lists. And Bacchus mentioned that that could be, uh, instead of having uh, multi-dimensional arrays, just have lists of lists. But in any case, uh, when I learned APL and math, that was enough to have me lose tenure in grad school. So partly to, to uh, prove, prove to myself that I was uh, not nuts. I, I solved minimal paths around n-dimensional simplexes, trying to figure out um, uh, minimal paths around n-dimensional cubes, uh, which is still my logo. Then um, around the time that Tron came out, uh, I learned of fourth and Ch Chuck Moore. Both of these languages are, are uh, individual men, and, and I'd put People talk about fourth being stack language, and you'll see that. I mean, it definitely is. Both of these are functional languages. Um, but a, go, fourth is generally used for embedded systems. And it's, it's a minimal language to get from hardware to a dictionary capable of extending itself. And I have friends uh, who are now um, 
actually building fourth processors in FPGA so you can have an entire field of fourth processors. Um, and I immediately saw that, that, okay, if you've got this language that, you know, can create languages, then the language worth creating is APL. Um, and it can be, a, a minimal fourth can be con constructed in through as few as 30 definitions or so. And, and the fourth that this is, is running in x86, as you'll see. And actually there's a, a um, bunch of, um, here's, here's some, the ancient, the first 50 years. I, I was pulled east to Xerox and, and uh, to rewrite their long range worldwide forecasting system. This was the system where the very early notion of having an environment where normally you, you've got a notebook, but, but you can execute things, but as a consultant, you get interrupted with a phone call and you gotta take notes on whatever. And then uh, around 85, a guy named Ryo Osaki created this with Ampere computer with APL in, in ROM. Um, and I got pulled down to Manhattan because if you're really good at number crunching, which is what APL is all about, then uh, the numbers that are valuable to crunch are ones that have currency symbols. So this was my view in Manhattan <laughs> before I uh, moved. And that's, uh, can anybody recognize that computer? Compact suitcase. But here was really the first uh, cozies, but then a lot of stuff interrupted. So back to here and uh, let me go back to the um, slides here in the last one to finish off because I think it's, oh, and when 9-11 happened in my neighborhood, I was, I was living here. Um, but when 9-11 happened, I, I had this picture of this n-dimensional simplex, of, but for the whole of my neighborhood, this was my vision for, uh, a, and I computed all this in K, in K-Cozy, which was the, the predecessor, the direct predecessor of biting the bullet and writing an APL all the way up from fourth. But this is a rather interesting, I didn't really want to do it. Um, I, um, yeah, Peter Wang, who, he gave a talk at, at, at KX on discovering fourth, and he gave this presentation to a Python audience. So, um, but, but saying, oh, geez, I wish I'd known about this stuff 25 years ago. Um, so, that's uh, the, um, the, uh, one of the things is, one of my, my notions is the code is the theory. Um, but here in Decon, I'm a, I'm a poor programmer, bad at spelling, bad at arithmetic, error prone. I need backspace key to make forward progress. Um, so Cozy's my crutch, my, my uh, uh, intelligent note, note paper. Any line can be passed to the machine um, and evaluated in the language the notebook itself is written in, in fourth. So it's, it's programmable in itself. And the aspects of fourth are, are uh, simplicity that, um, and this is really Chuck Moore's sim simplicity. Both, both Chuck and, and, and Iverson had uh, some attributes in common. They were extreme on simplicity in their own domains, and, and they also insisted on having an interactive environment. But in fourth, a, a word is any non-blank string of characters. Space is the prime delimiter, so you can see, you'll see words that are, that are just arbitrary and whatever characters and, and so forth, and I wish I had Unicode, and then I'd have actually, I'd use APL, uh, a lot of the APL characters. Syntax is reverse Polish, is noun, noun, verb, you'll see that. But note that a verb can look forward in a sentence, so you'll see the importance of that. Um, and as you've seen, I've chapped x six a number of times to execute things. Otherwise, it's just text processing. 
And all nouns are lists. Um, and they have a header, which I'll get to, the, the type, count, reference count, are the first three cells in memory. And we're talking about at the machine level. Um, and, and this is something that I really like. The, the, the indexing is modulo, like uh, counting on your fingers, one, two, three, four, five, zero, and, and so forth. So, and also, minus one will go and, and index from the back of an array, from the end of an array. And here, a word is defined just by having, is, is compiled just by having colon and the name and, and um, so forth. And there's an extensive vocabulary evolved from APL, slicing and dicing, searching and replacing, applying verbs to, uh, to each item in lists. And um, the philosophical goal is, is the succinct expression of algorithms, sort of the combinatoric application of, of functions to, to data. So whether clearing HTML, handling mail, or accounting. Um, and Cozy itself is written over here. So let me come down. Simplicity. Okay. So this is this this right here is is one two minus is pure fourth, and that'll stick stick the value on the on on the the x86 stack, and this actually converts it into a into a uh, cozy one item list. So. Um, Oh, I'm going line. Why did, do I have caps lock on or something? That's the thing that. Let me hit caps lock to see, and see if I got that. That's what the general thing that'll. Um, in any case, uh, this, this makes a word which is named after Vidal Sassoon for some historical reasons. But there, I've just created a word, um, V Sassoon, so now I can go and do V Sassoon. That's, that's, that's compiled that word. And um, uh, let me get off this, this update because it's not pulling up the second window, and I'm not going to. Screw around with why. One of the things that's very convenient about uh, reverse Polish is you can just stick a comment symbol. The vertical bar is a comment symbol. And um, that's what it looks. But here, to show you, that's made a seven, it's, it's, it's taken Hello World, made a cop, it made seven by 23 copy of it, reversed it, and then um, catenated it to, to itself. And, uh, yeah, the, don't see the whole thing, but um, to go and, um, geez, I got all these things that are aimed at having, there should be another window that, that, that show up there. Um, but um, let me put another comment symbol in here, just put the thing. This is, um, Showing, this is actually showing the dump of these of these words. Uh, oh, maybe it's. I got this stupid caps lock on again. There's a window in the background. I'm wondering if it's just not taking focus. Maybe like showing the Oh, T0, oh, I didn't go in, um, F6. Oh, I need to define Vidal, didn't I define Vidal? Okay, F6. Damn, I got this. Let me execute um, F6, F6. F6, okay, now I'm empty, I'm clean. I got Vidal, I got Vidal, execute this. Um, there we got it, Vidal. 
And here, I'm going to go and execute this in pure uh, fourth. Um, there's the dump of, of T0. And you can see, and this is one of the things where the wider display is, is better. If I go over here, you can see that's actually the internal structure, the assembly language, language level of, of those uh, definitions. Um, so you can see you're actually you're working directly on the, on the um, machine, your machine level, but your APL. You're open all the way from the, from the machine to the APL. And any word, um, and I'm not sure why that's not going, but let me put a comment symbol in and F6 that. There's a definition of, of DMP, for instance. So you can see the definition directly. That went out to all of the, all of the uh, um, scripts that construct uh, COSY. And it's all open code. Um, why did that not go to? Um, yeah. <laughs> So all in this, I, I find GitHub too complicated, and the and the language, because the language is more powerful for dealing with these these things. Um, but that's it. The open code is available. Um, you can see the 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 definition of of any word in in the uh, vocabulary. For instance, there's um, essentially Duke, but uh, with with memory management, um, and um, here is um, the actual let's 86 of that, and it'd be whatever. So, what? How much time is it? Oh, oh, okay. Well, future is getting other people involved, and currently, if you become a charter subscriber, you get a you get a small share of cozy because you're buying into the future. Um, so, I got two and a half pieces parts done, and uh, given that it's live, <laughs> live on, on, on Monday afternoon, <laughs> so anyway, I, I'll, uh, I should have something that, um, in a sense, I mean, this is the thing, it's a cockpit. It's, it's my interface with, with my computing resources. And it's totally open. You know, the code, you can see that it's totally open from the machine up. And in the future, it can be, um, well, everybody in the, the tons of forts around for virtually any, any process. And like I say, I got friends who are making, uh, building um, in, uh, in system Verilog, they're, they're building arrays of fourth processors. So you have an array language at the top. You can have now arrays at the processor level. And this is all open code. So, and you just saw what it was to compile a word, you know.